Hi friends, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. ESP channel. There are problems associated with using a single data source, theory, method or a point of view. There could be biases in using a single data source, theory or method in research. To overcome these biases, we use the process of triangulation in research. Let us see what is triangulation in research in this video. There are four kinds of triangulations. Data triangulation, investigative triangulation, methodological triangulation and theoretical triangulation. Based on the research purpose, the researcher needs to choose the most appropriate form of triangulation, data, investigator, theoretical or methodological. Triangulation, a concept derived from the field of surveying, is a strategy in social science research to enhance the credibility and validity of findings. Triangulation involves using multiple sources, methods or perspectives to examine a single phenomenon or a research question with the aim of overcoming the limitations and biases with relying on a single method or data source. By combining theories, methods or observers in a research study, triangulation can help ensure that fundamental biases arising from the use of a single method or a single observer are overcome. For example, a researcher might use a combination of survey data and interviews to gather information about a particular topic. The triangulation approach helps researchers to better understand complex phenomena, generate richer insights, and ensure the robustness and validity of the research outcomes. There are four types of triangulation method triangulation, investigator triangulation, theory triangulation, and data source triangulation. Triangulation allows researchers to cross check their data and interpretations identifying any inconsistencies or discrepancies that may emerge. The iterative nature of triangulation also encourages researchers to reflect on their own assumptions, biases and limitations, fostering reflexivity throughout the research process. Data triangulation involves collecting data from different sources or at different times to validate and confirm the findings. It includes time triangulation, which is gathering data at various points in time, space triangulation, which entails collecting data from different geographical locations or settings, and person triangulation, gathering data from different participants or groups. A researcher might be interested in studying the media representation of climate change for example. To conduct data triangulation, the researcher can firstly analyze media content from different periods, for example past decade versus present, to examine how media coverage and framing of climate change have evolved over time. The researcher can compare media portrayals of climate change across different countries or regions from various parts of the world to understand the cultural and geographical variations in media coverage. He can examine the perspectives of different stakeholders such as journalists, editors, policymakers and activists through interviews or surveys to understand their views on media coverage of climate change. Methodological triangulation can be within method and between method triangulation. Within method triangulation uses multiple techniques within the same method, such as conducting both semi-structured interviews and focus groups within quality research. Between method triangulation refers to multiple methods from different research paradigms, such as combining quantitative survey data with qualitative interviews. To study the effects of media on public opinion, a researcher might use a combination of quantitative and 
qualitative methods a survey could be conducted to measure the level of exposure to certain media content and to assess the respondents opinions on specific issues this quantitative data would provide insights into the correlation between media exposure and public opinion to complement this the researcher could also conduct qualitative interviews or focus groups to explore the reasons behind people's opinions and how media content influences their perceptions by triangulating both quantitative which is survey and qualitative methods the researcher can develop a more nuanced understanding of the media's impact on public opinion theoretical triangulation refers to the process of employing multiple theoretical perspectives frameworks or models to analyze and interpret the same data or phenomenon by doing so researchers can gain a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of the subject matter as well as identify potential gaps or inconsistencies in existing theories In a study investigating the relationship between political communication and public opinion, a researcher might use a combination of agenda setting theory, framing theory and spiral of silence theory. Agenda setting theory would help the researcher to explore how media coverage influences the perceived importance of certain political issues among the public. Framing theory would provide insights into how media outlets present political issues and shape the way the public interprets them. Finally, spiral of silence theory would help the researcher to understand how individuals may be influenced by the perceived majority opinion in their communication environment and how this affects their willingness to express their own opinions publicly. Investigative triangulation involves using multiple researchers to study the same phenomenon. By having multiple researchers analyze the data, the potential for researcher bias is reduced and the study's overall reliability and accuracy are improved. Investigative triangulation is particularly important in qualitative research where research interpretation plays a significant role. in data analysis a study examining the representation of ethnic minorities in news media might involve multiple researchers analyzing the same set of media content each researcher would independently code the data for variables such as the frequency of minority representation the roles they are portrayed in and the stereotypes associated with them By having multiple investigators analyze the data, the research team can ensure that their interpretations are consistent and not influenced by the individual biases or preconceived notions of a single researcher. This enhances the credibility of the study's finding regarding the representation of minorities in media content. Let us see the guidelines for triangulation. Before applying triangulation, it is crucial to understand the specific objectives of using this approach. Based on the research purpose, select the most suitable form of triangulation. Data triangulation, methodological triangulation, investigative triangulation or theoretical triangulation. Then incorporate triangulation into the research design from the beginning. and suggest how they will be combined to address the research question when employing multiple data sources methods or theories make sure they are coherent and compatible with each other then clearly describe the process of triangulation including the rationale for its use the types of triangulation employed and the steps taken to integrate the different sources methods or perspectives this enhances the credibility and trustworthiness of the research findings employing multiple data sources methods investigators or theoretical perspectives 
can be time consuming and resource intensive. Researchers need to invest additional effort in data collection, analysis and synthesis. Integrating and synthesizing findings from different sources, methods or perspectives can be challenging, particularly if the data is conflicting or contradictory. Triangulation does not automatically eliminate bias in research. Researchers may still unintentionally introduce their own biases when selecting data sources, methods or theories or when interpreting the results. Triangulation can sometimes result in complex and nuanced findings that may be difficult to interpret or communicate to others. In some cases, the scope of the triangulation may be limited. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.